Hi, I'm uh, Hans Johansen. Today is January 6, 2023. I am the producer of an annual gathering of people down here in the sunny island of Gran Canaria in Spain, where we have gathered for 10 years now uh, to meet, talk, develop our ideas about ourselves, about business, personal development, so much. And we called this the Gran Canaria Business Week or the, the Business Week in Gran Canaria. But it's really about much more than business. It is about ourselves. It is about relationships. It is about where we want to go with our lives, what we want to do with our lives. And over the years, those 10 years, we have had hundreds of people attending the Grand Canaria Business Week, the Biz Week, where so much has happened. Businesses have started, friendships have uh, started, even relationships have uh, started, uh, love relationships. And um, there's an energy field that we created that we want to continue. I think the largest Gran Canaria Business Week was the one we had in 2017 in January where more than 150 people attended in Las Palmas. And the first one was only 15 people over a uh, dinner table down in, uh, in uh, Arginigin. The thing is that during the Corona crisis, the Business Week was uh, discontinued for two years. And uh, now is the time we're looking at reviving it. So now, January 9 to 14, 2023, in Las Palmas, I will be in Las Palmas. We are sort of testing the waters for the Business Week, where we want to go with it, the concept, what's needed now. So it's a, not a structured program this year and there are no tickets to buy or any cost involved or anything like that. It will be much more informal talking to each other. The process has already started. I've met with some people. I happen to be down in the south today uh, meeting with some people here in uh, Playa del Inglés um, to see what's needed now. And what I see already now, this is a process that will develop, but I see that a lot of people, me included, are in a process of re-evaluating our lives, our business, what we want to do, the direction. For me personally, I feel there's so much uncertainty right now in the world about everything. Maybe a new uh, corona thing, new uh, different kind of health scare, maybe the war in Ukraine, Russia. All There's so many moving parts at the same time. So I feel that I am... I want to see how this plays out before I commit to anything right now. That is business, personal, relationship, friendship, political, ideas, direction. And I, I feel this might be resonating with other people as well. So. That's where I am in my process, and you have your process, and we're meeting here in Gran Canaria, whoever is here and whoever wants to meet up. So that's how it's going to play out now in Las Palmas. January 9 to 14, I will be there. I will check into some hotel somewhere, and we will have lots of cups of coffee, lots of conversations. We will meet, we will introduce people to each other. We might go for an excursion one day out to um, outside of Las Palmas. Um, there's an interesting opportunity there. Uh, it won't be on the 9th or the 10th. It will be 11, 12, 13, 14. 
And it might not be that things are happening every day. We'll, we'll take it a little bit as it comes and uh, things will pop up. If you are in Las Palmas, if you are in Gran Canaria, if you want to meet up for coffee, for a conversation, if you want to invite us to something, if you have something going on in Gran Canaria, this has happened. Serendipitous just events and invitations have always been a part of the Gran Canaria Business Week experience. So contact me. Uh, I'll put the contact details underneath. Um, easiest by SMS plus four seven for Norway ninety two forty one zero five one zero and you can also reach me on WhatsApp same number four seven nine two four one zero five one zero email Hans Luisglimt at gmail.com or messenger Facebook and hit me up and tell me what you're thinking about where you are at um, and, and where you are I know great people are on the island already partly the ones that live here full-time but also visiting people right now I have not been able this time to reach out to as many people as I would have wanted to in previous years I've been really working on this putting in so many hours to organize everything and help other people with their process and travel advice and helping people get tickets and all that this year I've, I've had to sort of limit myself uh, so I can't I can't do that you if you want to come for the Grand Canaria Business Week it's a free networking event this time there's no cost there's no commitment there's no program but I'm there and there are other people there and we talk and, and great things happen this is this has been the concept and this is the concept so if you want to show up if you want to catch a plane and come down you don't have to be attending or, or there, there, there's no commitment from you either so come one day or come multiple days what fits you so uh, it's an invitation and um, I'm gonna make one more video today that I've been thinking about and that is a video where I will talk about business in Gran Canaria some people or there's been some confusion over the years so the Gran Canaria Business Week is it about business in Gran Canaria no it's about business in general life in general and we just happen to be in Gran Canaria so we're sort of a little bit rebranding it to business week in Gran Canaria so it's a general business week but it's a life week it's a life development week who are you? Who are we? It's much more than business. But the reason we call it the Business Week is that a lot of people that have been attending and are attending are having their own businesses up in Northern Europe or here or whatever. And when you call it a Business Week and you sell a ticket for it, it then becomes a deductible cost in their books, their bookkeeping for whatever they're doing uh, a business. And it has a nice receipt before you know it says business week and it's over multiple days so you can deduct the hotel cost and everything so that's that's the reason why we call it the business week otherwise we probably would have called it something life love sunshine personal something but it has to be deductible for business people very advantageous um, tax wise and stuff if you can do that but I will do a separate video specifically about business in Gran Canaria and also business as a digital nomad. When we started the Business Week, the first one we did in 2012, the co concept of being a digital nomad wasn't really conceptualized as it is now. It's become so popular. So some, a friend of mine here in Gran Canaria, uh, he said that we were uh, way ahead of our time. Um, with the business week and I, I believe so and I believe we still are ahead of our time we are on the forefront of what's going on I, and I believe the personal development thing what you want to do with your life to 
to, to work on that in a more structured way, that is the way forward. It, it's not about business ideas. You can make money online as a digital nomad in numerous different ways, but the thing is that you just don't, it's not about making money, it's about your life and what you want to do and where you're heading. And that's the important thing. And that's what we need to talk a lot more about and find ways to, to find ourselves and to figure out what we want to be as grown-ups. So I will talk about that. So you'll, you'll find that other video as well. So right now I'm actually here then in Playa del Inglis. I'm in one of the shopping centers. Like when I was here last time, four or five years ago, there were the multiple shopping centers like outdoor, like this one where I'm at now. And what I've seen is that four or five of them have shut down. Caspa and you know, with the big well, with all, all the shops in a round circle. They're all shut down. Uh, apparently the COVID crisis uh, was, was the thing that, that uh, made them shut down. But the, the, the thing is that it's so interesting to see that business here in Gran Canaria is like going to a transitional phase right now. There's been multiple of these since the tourism started. Um, and now there's a new one. So all these centers, three, four big centers with dozens of shops in each of them will be torn down for sure and something new will be built up something new the business is different uh, the, the vibe is different uh, is that all that is so interesting so th this is the transition that we feel inside a lot of us is also happening in the, in the bigger world it's like a recalibration of ourselves and the business opportunities and the consciousness of people and the services that we provide and desire. It's, it's a time for transformation, reflection, renewal. So I hope to see you. Please reach out to me in any one of those ways I, I described. I'm not so good at phone calls, so I, I much prefer a, a message. Thank you. Um, and uh, we'll make it happen. And if we feel like this is something we need and this is good and, and we, we find a way, then maybe next year, 2024 in January, we'll do a more formalized process again with a program and uh, we'll rent a room in a hotel or something and maybe have uh, tickets and, and some cost that we can forward to speakers to come down and, and to make a more structured thing but this year is very informal it's conversations it, it's meetings and i hope to see as many of you as possible in las palmas january 9 to 14 2023